Well, hello there. This is Mrs. Robertson. Today we're going to do the first lesson from our Volume 2 book. Um, it is Chapter 5. No, we're in Chapter 6, Lesson 1. Powers and Exponents. And this lesson starts on page 433. All right, let's begin with our vocabulary startup. A product of like factors, product means um, answer to a multiplication problem, can be written in exponential form using an exponent and a base. The base is the number used as a factor. It's the big number, kids. And the exponent tells how many times the base is used as a factor. So the base is the large number, the exponent is the little number. So we are going to fill in the boxes with the word base and exponent here and factors. So this is the base, two is the exponent, and these two are called factors. Write this in your book, kids. Make sure you have that all written down. Exponent, base, factors. Now, in the next one, it says, give an example of an exponent. Who wants to give me an example of something I can write down? Yes. Uh, it's 10 to the third minus. 10 to the third power. That's an example. How about... Um, how about 2 to the 4th power? You could have 6 to the 10th power. You could have a big number with the little number, it's your exponent. Now it says write the definition of exponent in your own words. Alright, in my words, I'm going to put in a power. number tells you how many times the base is used. Um, in a power, the number tells you... You can just write your own thing. It sort of takes a lot of line space. I should put a comma there. It tells you how many times the base is used as a factor. It tells you how many times the base is used they needed to give me a few more lines as a factor all right now i just want you to notice there are several vocabulary words We've already know what a base is, an exponent. In the next couple pages, we're going to talk about powers and perfect squares. Okay? Real world link. MP3 players, which, do any of you have MP3 players in your name? I didn't think so. Come in different storage sizes, such as 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, where GB means gigabyte. 1 gigabyte is equal to 10 times 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 10 bytes. What is this number written with exponents? Well, it's going to be 10 to what power? How many 10s did they multiply there? 9. 9. 10 to the ninth power. Okay, let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, any questions on how they got... 10 to the ninth power. Okay, now let's go to page 434. In this page, write products as powers. Let's see what the word power means. Numbers expressed using exponents are called powers. For example, 100 is a power of 10 because it can be written as 10 to the second power. Numbers like 100 are perfect squares. 
So 10 to the second power equals 10 times 10, and that equals 100. Numbers like 100 are perfect squares because they are the squares of whole numbers. Now, perfect cubes are numbers with three identical whole number factors, okay? Such as four times four is 16, times four is 64. Let's just go over here and write our perfect squares first, okay? So over here, let's start over here on the top. One to the second power equals one. That's one times one, right? What is two to the second power going to be? What's two times two? Four. What's three to the second power going to be? Three times three is nine. Four to the second power, kids. What's four times four? 16, not eight, it's 16. What's five to the second power? Class? 25. Six to the second power? Seven to the second power. Alex, I don't see you writing this down. What's eight to the second power? Nine to the second power? Eighty-one. I skipped to the ten to the second power. That's eighty-one. And ten to the second power? One hundred. What's 11 to the second power? 121. And we'll stop with 12. 12 to the second power is 144. Got that? Those are perfect squares. That's what we have here. These are all perfect squares. Now, Perfect cubes. I'm going to just do a few perfect cubes, okay? So down below the perfect squares, the perfect cubes, 1 to the third power is 1 times 1 times 1, which equals 1, right? 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is what? 8. 3 to the third power, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. 4 to the third power, 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64, I believe. And um, we'll just do 5 and we'll stop. 5 to the third power. 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 125. These are examples of perfect cubes. Now, over there, I've got the chart of numbers to different powers. Um, if you ever need to glance over there, I have them up there. Those charts are really old. I think I made them in the 80s whenever I was teaching, so they're a bit faded. But, you know, math hasn't changed from the 80s, has it? No. Okay, let's go ahead and look at these examples. Write this using exponents. Well, it's 6 to the 4th power. Everybody good at that? Put a happy face. Write this using an exponent. The factor 4 is the base. The factor is multiplied how many times? 3 times. The exponent is going to be 3. So 4 times 4 times 4 can be written as 4 to the third power. Any questions on that? Okay, good. Let's do A and B. Alex, what's the answer for letter A? Huh? Well, look, honey, how many of those are we multiplying? So it's 7 to what power? To the 4th power. Mm -hmm. 7 to the 4th power. In letter B, what am I going to write down? 9 is my base number. What's my exponent going to be? Yes. 7. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Any questions? 
Okay, let's go to the next page, 435. Write powers as products. To write powers as products, determine the base and the exponent. The base is 10 and the exponent is 2. To read powers, consider the exponent. The power, 10 to the second power, is read as 10 squared. And 10 to the third power is read as 10 cubed. That's just another way of doing it. I normally will say 10 to the second power instead of 10 squared, but it's the same thing. 10 to the second power is the same thing as 10 squared, and 10 to the third power is the same thing as 10 cubed. Number three, write five to the second power as a product of the same factors, then find the value. Well, five to the second power is five times five. The value is 25. Number four. 1.5 to the third power. That's 1 and 5 tenths times 1 and 5 tenths times 1 and 5 tenths. The answer is 3.375. Any questions on how to multiply decimals? Let's just do this one real quick. You might get to use calculators later today, but you have to show that you at least know how to multiply with decimals before I'll let you use a calculator. So write this down. Everyone's pencil should be moving. 5 times 5 is 25, carry a 2, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. I put a place value 0, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1. Add the digits together. How many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem? 1, 2, 1, 2. Now, I have to take this number times another 1.5. So 2 and 25 hundredths times 1 and 5 tenths. 5 times 5 is 25, carry a 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. Put down a 2, carry a 1. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Now I'm going to multiply by the 1. I first will put down a place value 0, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. Add them together, 5, 7, 3, 3. How many numbers are behind the decimal point? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Is that what they have? Yes, it is. Any questions on that? Now we're going to do one with fractions. Fractions is easy, kids. It's easier than if you have to add them. One half to the third power means one half times one half times one half. And what do you get? One times one is one times one is one. Two times two is four times two is eight. Any questions on how to do the fraction one with exponents? Pretty simple. Okay, let's do C, D, and E right now. C, D, and E. I'll put my answers up in just a moment. So for C, you have to write 10 times 10 five times. Does anyone know what the secret is when you have 10 to the powers? What? That's right. Our exponent is 5, so I'm going to have 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's a 1 with 5 zeros behind it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 100,000. Did everybody see that? Now this one, you're going to have to multiply 2.1 times 2.1. 1, 2, 1, 2. Did you get 4 and 41 hundredths? Good. And on this one, oh, these are easy. What's 1 times 1? 
What's four times four? All right, any questions on how to do those? Not hard. Okay, let's go to the next page, 436. Here we have a word problem. We've got the zoo. The zoo has an aquarium that holds around seven to the fourth power gallons of water. I don't know who in their right mind talks about seven to the fourth power gallons, but they did in this problem. About how many gallons of water does the aquarium hold? Well, you're going to take seven times seven times seven times seven. Okay, kids? So, seven times seven is 49. Seven times seven is 49. And to get the answer, you take 49 times 49. And you're going to get, I'm just going to write down the answer because it's there. 2,401 gallons. Any questions? Okay, let's go to letter F. Michigan has more than 10 to the 4th power inland lakes. Find the value of 10 to the 4th power. Well, we can do that one in our head. What are we going to write down for that? How many zeros? Four. So a one with four zeros is 10,000 lakes. Any questions? Okay, let's go and read the directions for these problems and see what we get. Write each product using exponents. Do we need to find the value? Nope. Just write it with exponents. So this is going to be 8 to what power? 8 to the third. 1 to what power? Very good. That one's easy. 1 to the fifth power is still 1, isn't it? Yep. Write each power as a product of the same factor, then find the value. So we're going to write it as a product of the same factor and the value. So that means we're going to do 1 7th times 1 7th times 1 7th. 1 times 1 is 1 times 1 is 1. 7 times 7 is 49. And 49 times 7, carry a 6, 7, 28, 34. So did you get 343 for that one? Okay, I think that is right. So it's 1 over 343. Any questions? 2 to the 5th power. That's you write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 and 16 doubled is 32. 1.4 to the second power. 1 and 4 tenths times 1 and 4 tenths. Place value zero. One, two, one, two. So the answer is one and ninety six hundredths. Any questions? Number seven. Coal mines have shafts that can be as much as 7 to the 3rd power feet deep. About how many feet deep into Earth's crust are these shafts? Well, 7 times 7 times 7, which we already know what that is, don't we? What is it? 343 feet. Okay, any questions? Oh. How is using exponents helpful? Well, it's easy to write 10 to the 5th power than to write um, 10,000, isn't it? You don't have to count how many zeros. You know how many zeros would be. That would be one example. Are you pretty good at doing this? Rate yourself. Okay. Now, what, do you want, what am I going to have you do for homework? This is your assignment. And we're going to then have time, I think we'll do our uh, inquiry lab at the end of class because we'll get this finished and grade it. Page 437, all. 
turn the page on page 438 I want you to do 11, 12, and 13. This is page 438, 11, 12, and 13. Also on page 438, I want you to complete the chart. And then on page 439, I would like for you to do, we can, we're going to try to do all of these. On page 439, all. All right. Now, if you work really hard on the first page, then you can get a calculator. I have them in the, in the closet to use on the rest of the problems, okay? So, on page 437, no calculator. You have to do them without a calculator. Um, you know what? I'll let you use a calculator on 5 and 6. The others I'm not going to let you use a calculator on, okay? So once you get all of the problems done, I will let you use a calculator on 5 and 6. I'll get them out and um, we'll work hard on these. Be very careful on number 8. It has a decimal point. Have a good day.